Prince Charming is, uh, I hope basically what you think he is coming off the, the page of a, a fairy tale book. He is one of the characters in the, in the film, I think, that um, uh, is supposed to seem exactly like what you would expect Prince Charming to be. And for Cinderella, uh, he poses this great opportunity of becoming, for her, a part of this fairy tale life that she thinks that she wants and it only takes her you know uh, it takes her the length of the movie to figure out that maybe this life and this man isn't exactly what she wants and uh, I think that's how that's how I play into the story the great thing about this world is that there are these characters in this this uh, in this fairy tale land like the baker like the baker's wife um, that are these real fully formed people that have to find their way in this in this world. They go into the woods, into the world, and they have to figure out how to be and how to deal with their emotions, their selfishness, their wants, their needs, uh, their disappointments, everything that it means to be a human and they have to they have to carry on. For me the great the great kind of joy of this was getting to work with such a huge ensemble, such a great cast and I've had, you know, uh, great times and great luck with with those kinds of experiences before, and to work with Meryl and 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 Johnny and um, and Emily and James and um, Anna and, and you know, uh, it's just been an incredible time. What Meryl's done is, I mean, I it's you, you it's like you don't want to jump on the bandwagon of of. Um, you know, genuflecting in front of, you know, someone who's probably one of the greatest uh, actors of all time. and But you have to because she is that, she's that good. She's that good. She's got, um, I mean, I could, she's got some songs in this that I, that'll tear people apart. And all, her stuff is beautiful too because even though she portrays the witch who classically is this kind of mean, cold character, she, the material that Stephen has given her and in, in, in the music and what she's bringing to it, it's really all about a mother learning how to let go of her children and it's just it's just beautiful what a real precise artist Stephen Sondheim is and how he uses music with words so delicately delicately and so precisely in a way that I I never knew and, and wouldn't have known if I didn't have this opportunity and, and he takes all of these fairy tales and creates this amalgam of all these different worlds and fairy tales are allegories or they're, they're things that we encounter in childhood. Um, he presents that to us in the beginning and as it goes on it gets deeper and darker and more complicated and it is in many ways the journey of this film is like growing up and uh, for all the children in, in, this, in this film what they learn essentially is how troubling, how mean, how vicious, how wonderful, how beautiful, how spectacular life can be in all of its myriad forms and manifestations. Clearly because he comes from a musical theater background, he comes from a, a, a background in theater and he's spent time on Broadway in New York. His partner John similarly uh, brings a great wealth of knowledge to uh, to this kind of material and I think if there's one person that knows how to bridge that gap between uh, stage and screen and musical theater and and, um, and screen musicals it is it's Rob and he's um, uh, he's been great for me because especially with a, a character like Prince Charming because I find him so funny and so kind of broad at times because he he almost doesn't know how ridiculous he is it's great to have Rob there as kind of the barometer of what is too big what might work on stage and what definitely doesn't work in um, in film